Hey guys, this is Kent from the Games Den. Today I'm playing MXGP 2020 and I'm playing it on my PS5 and we're going to go for 2560 by 1440p at 60 frames a second. So I thought it, this would be a better option rather than 4K 30 frames a second. Let's get straight into it. I just wanted to show you what this game runs like on PS5. Oh, am I going to get the whole shot? Oh, no, no, no. I've lost just a bit of speed at a second now. If you're new to the channel, be wicked if you could subscribe and join us. I play all the latest racing games here. I get sent most of the games early on the channel. I've had this for ages now. I've got it on PS5 and Xbox Series X. So, yeah, all the latest consoles as well. So this is the, if you like, the PS4 version of the game running on PS5. They haven't done a specific patch yet for PS5, but I'd imagine that could well come in the new year. Or if you're watching this in the future, that may really may already be available. Oh, came off the track there. So if you're new to MXGP, you basically, the race format is, you see the countdown timer, top left. I'm playing just quick races at the moment for the object of this video. But once the timer runs down, then you do two more laps. That's basically it. So when the timer hits zero, that's when the race really, really starts. I actually really like this track. There are a couple of jumps like that one I just took there. If you get them absolutely right, you can like cut a bit of time off. But there is it is kind of like risk and reward because if you mess it up, that will cost you. I mean, obviously there are rewinds in this game, but we don't want to be doing rewinds. I'll do it if I have to, or I'll do it if I'm, you know, trophy hunting or achievement hunting and I've got one to get and I, you need to win the race and I'm on my last lap. I think, well, I'm not going to do spend 20 minutes doing the whole race again. But I hope you can see with the frame rate the difference it makes. Whoa! Let us know in the comments what you want to see for the next racing videos on PS5 and Xbox Series X. Like, what do you want to see? Do you want to see this, which is, you know, 1440, 1440p, 60 frames a second. I can do 1080p, 60 frames a second. Or I can do 4K, but only 30 frames a second. I mean, it's a minefield. I asked a couple of my friends and they said go the highest resolution you can with the highest frame rate you can. So I figured 60 frames at 1440 was better than whoops was better than uh, 4K 30. But it, it all depends how you guys are consuming it. Like if you're watching on a 4K telly, then yeah. But I'm guessing most people would be on a phone or a, or a tablet. So I'm guessing the, or even what would else would it be? Like a laptop maybe. I reckon most people are on phone. That's just my guess. Let me, let me know in the comments guys. It would be really helpful to know because I'm making videos for you. So I want to get it right. Okay, so we are now in the last two laps. This has been actually been quite a good race. I'm recording this live. I'm not one of those YouTubers who uh, 
I mean, obviously I do edit videos, but this video is recorded live. And I like to always do my racing live because I hate it when someone, you watch a video and you can just see a couple of little cuts they've made if you look carefully. And they win the race and they look great. And you're thinking, hmm. So if I wipe out, I'll show you it. If I wipe out three times in a row, <laughs> I'll just have a little rage, but I'll still show you it. It's only gaming, right? You know? It's not the world championships of gaming. What I should do next, I should have a little look at the uh, the replay at the end, see what that looks like. I'll show you guys a bit of that before we finish. But for me, anyway, this game is great on the PS5, which is what you're really going to want to know. It's the controller. It's the controller, isn't it? Anyone who's tried the PS5 controller, it's a really great controller. And it just seems like the triggers make it easier than PS4. It's just a bit more play in them, it seems. So if they're, they're just slightly longer. And if you're an adult, I think that the PS5 controller fits in your hand better than the PS4 did. I've got the Elite controller on Xbox and there's something about that that just feels a bit more premium. I'm really surprised Sony don't milk us for a premium PS5 controller because they know people to buy it. Whoa. <laughs> I was discombobulated then for a second. I do want to win this race even though this is not actually the topic of my video. Boom. Happy days. All right, so let's have a look at the replay. What can I do? change the camera. No, here we go. Whoa. Yeah, I'm not I wouldn't be able to do a whole race like this. Let's have a look what other cameras we've got. Oh no, that's changed the that's changed the rider. Oh that's interesting. really hear the dirt can't you? you can hear the noise of all the bikes and stuff it's cool that's me again oops and that was my one mistake the respawns are quick in this game though so like it's wicked Ah, oh, the helmet one. Let's have a look at that for a minute. Yeah, I kind of don't like that because it's just sort of a bit more muffled the sound and slightly blurred video. I mean, I know it's trying to be realistic, but... So this one's on the side of my helmet. I realise I've said helmet quite a lot in this video. Behave yourself. Yeah, I think I prefer that one. It's all good. It's all good. Alright, guys. Right, let's move along. 
Right, I just wanted to make a quick video showing you what the game was like on PS5 and how it runs. If you enjoyed this video, be wicked if you could give us a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.